Hey, howdy, howdy, and welcome to a medieval slash space engineers video. Now, why is this both videos? Now, this video is mostly about the Havoc engine. That is the physics engine for both of these two games, medieval engineers and space engineers. And what we are trying to do today, what is the purpose of this video? Well, it is to improve the stability of the catch blocks in medieval engineers and the rotors in space engineers. And the way we're going to do this is, from my understanding of it, an exploit of how the Havoc engine calculates the stability of these cash blocks slash rotors. Now, the reason I don't have the ex absolutely full understanding of this is because this is not a find by me. This is a find by my friend Leo. He told me this in a, in a chat earlier this day. And he wanted me to do a video of it because he hadn't, he didn't want to himself. And he asked me to do a video on it, to share it to the community, and that is what I am doing. Uh, I'm doing my best to just give this a justifiable explanation. I'm actually going to do a demonstration here, so, well, you will see for yourselves uh, that it actually works. But all the credit for this find goes to Leo. Links to the in the description before. It's the guy who made the Gatling catapult. Really cool build. So go check him out. Anyway, so the demonstration right in front of us here is the demonstration f that we are going to do. Anyway, so we have a dynamic structure here. Sorry for the tongue twist. Uh, we have a dynamic structure here. And this is representing your build, basically. And uh, every time you have the same like in Space Engineers, in Medieval Engineers, this would be the rotors in Space Engineers, but they are the catch blocks here. And the axles or the top part of the rotor is actually a separate structure. And that is going to become a pretty important very soon. So these are connected to the platform, which is a heavy structure. But this is a very light structure. And on the other side of this catch block, which is connected to the light structure, we have a very, very heavy stick. And this is representing a force downwards and it is pushing this catch block to the side which of course could be in rotor and space engineer guys knows that this is a very common thing to happen that your rotors get pushed to the side the way to improve this or kind of fix this is to add mass to your structure so i'm going to add a bit of mass here and you're going to see that it wobbled around and now it has found a better position it's not hanging as low would actually say that it's pretty vertical or horizontal. Uh, horizontal is the way it is. You can see that it does wobble a bit, but we have a very extreme case here as well with this giant blob of mass. Now we can add even more ra mass. <laughs> more mass. More mass means more stability. And we are adding this to the structure that the catch block is connected to now that is the important point now you could add this directly to the catch block or you could add it somewhere else that is connected to the same structure as the catch block adding it to this does nothing because this is not the structure that this catch block is connected to and it is all the re also the reason why these guys aren't bending while this one was uh, so we believe the reason for this is that the Havoc engine calculates the stability of the catch block slash rotor by, by looking at how much mass the structure has. So if the structure has a lot of mass, the connection is very strong and stable. But if it has a low mass as it did before, then it's a very weak connection. And as I said, it's the same for both Space Engineers and Medieval Engineers. And this is useful in Medieval Engineers mostly as a way to make sure that your gears don't bend. So add a little bit of mass to your gears and you'll be just fine. Uh, once again, Leo is the guy that found this out. If you want to go and give him a shout out or something, say hello for me, then go do that. That would be awesome. If you enjoy this video, feel free to like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike, and I shall see you for the next time.